Hello Stampers and happy Monday. I'm so excited. My paper pumpkin came in the mail on Saturday and I got the mail yesterday, but I waited till this morning to open it and I can't wait. This is the August 2019 Stampin' Up! Paper Pumpkin Kit and it says the gift of fall, which I knew that this one was going to be a fall one because of course the um, September kit is going to be a uh, Halloween themed one. So Stampin' Up! usually sets the kits to be one month ahead of a holiday so that you have time to get that completed and everything in time for that holiday. So I love that because it always has me set up and I'm not scrambling at the last minute. So let's bust into this one and see what it is. Speaking of the next kit, I'm excited about this purple box. Like, look at that purple box. It's so cute. Oh, I can't wait for that one. So you can tell that the next one's going to be spooky Halloween themed. And then it looks like this month we have Mary Merlot is the ink pad. Ooh, I like that, like, flower greenery image. And then it says, Happy Thanksgiving. Grateful for family like you. Oh my goodness. I love that. Oh, I love, love, love that greeting. And we're having our big family reunion in September. So I can make some cards or some projects with that. That'll be fabulous. Thankful for friends like you. And then, why does that say? Oh, it says enjoy. I thought it said ho, ho, ho. It looks like ho ho, but it's enjoy. Anyway, maybe you won't be able to see that. <gasps> Super cute. Oh my gosh, with the family reunion coming up and everything, I feel like this kit will be perfect because I was trying to think of a couple things, um, you know, to kind of give as like a hostess gift or a thank you gift or, you know, something coming up. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I'm also staying with a friend this coming weekend and, um, and I was thinking of what I was going to make for her as like a little gift to leave, um, on my pillow as I leave. Um, and this might be the perfect little thing. I can fill this bag with chocolates or something like that. Look at all of that gold sequin bling. That is some bright ribbon. That uh, looks like Mango Melody and a ton of linen thread. Stampin' Up! always gives you tons of ribbon, it seems like. But look at all these sequins gold sequins for the win. I'm so excited. I actually think there might be three different sizes here. Maybe two different sizes. These are bigger than these. But those are so blingy and fabulous. Dimensionals. Love those. And then all these little gift bags. So they're not like super huge. They're like barely the size of my hand because like my hand's coming out the top. So super cute, you could add like, you know, a couple cookies in there, some chocolates, and there are six of those. Here we have labels, like white banner labels. You can see the banner tips on this end, and there's actually a hole on this end, so it must be the, um, the card label for everything. Ooh, that is super cool. That is gorgeous. There's two sheets of these with little circles. I like the multicolors. I'm not so sure I'm a huge fan of like that mustardy color, even though I've seen it like everywhere in stores. I'm not quite sure I'm on board with it just yet. But I super love this because look at that rainbow look. Love it. Oh, I am loving that. And then these are actually leaves. They look super funny and like some sort of crazy cross stitch, but they're actually just leaves that are patterned like that. Let me pop one out for you. So you can see they just kind of swiped over the leaves a little bit. And then here we have some Mary Merlot stitched circles. So these actually have that fun, maybe you can see it better, no. Can you see that stitching all around? Super, super cute. Jeez, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. Huge sheet of glue dots. Then this is all labels. 
So you can see there's like skinny labels all along the edge here. And then there's big labels in the center. There's actually two different sizes of labels. So it's like a big one, a small one, and then a little skinny one. And so they like offset them so there'd be room for all of those. And then these are like vellum sheets. So that's that same image as um, the stamp set. And then there's this really cool, fun leaf. Oh, there it's, you can see one side is a little bit darker of vellum usually. And then the other side is a little bit more like muted and everything. So this is the side they printed it on. Here's some more little leaves. These are striped. So they're just like that first one. It's the actual, it actually coordinates, it looks like with the uh, leaf punch. Because it looks like the same style of leaf. And then here's a whole bunch of little, I want to say greenery, but you know it's done in like Sahara sand. So I can't say, look at all these greenery pieces in tan. So I will just say all of these tan background pieces maybe. Super, super cute. I can't wait to put this kit together. Like I said, I have so many ideas for it. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of like treat bags or um, things like that because I just don't know when I'll use them and then they end up getting smushed and everything else. Um, but I have plans for these, so I'm super, super, super excited. I feel like this kit came like at the perfect timing um, for what I need, so that's awesome. And if not, then um, you can always just assemble the tags and adhere those to a card front and then use the gift bags for something else. Um, you could always decorate the gift bags, hollow or not Halloween themed, um, you could for Halloween, um, but also for Christmas or any other occasion too, and then put like cute little balloons on it for birthdays or something. So um, if you don't need gift bags at this time of the year like I do, um, then you can always put this whole card little piece onto a card front and then you have fabulous fall thank you cards. So super, super fabulous. You could even change up the greeting and put a birthday stamp on there. So lots of great different options if gift bags are not your thing or you don't need any right now because you have plenty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the August 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new as I normally post every Tuesday and Thursday, but I am also posting um, Paper Pumpkin when it arrives. So today is Monday and I will see you guys later. Oh, also don't forget to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com. I'll have the finished product of these on there as well as past Paper Pumpkin kits so you can check it out. And I'll have a link down below so that you can join Paper Pumpkin with me and get that Halloween spooky kit. Happy stamping! Bye-bye!